Now let's look at some of the local races. A rematch of a race we saw last February, February in last year. Democrat Jose Menendez and Trey Martinez Fisher both vying again for the state Senate seat for the 26th district. Just three percent of the vote in right now as we see how this race is shaping up tonight. Jose Menendez, though, with a 12 percent lead. That is a big lead at this point, and they were once House colleagues. Of course, Jose Menendez winning the runoff election for Leticia Vandeput's Senate seat. It appears at least right now like he has an insurmountable lead in this one. The night team's Jesse DeGriado covering this one for us tonight. Jesse, what did the candidates have to say about this rematch and about kind of the tenure of this entire uh, campaign? Steve, uh, I, I wish I could hear that question. I'm in the middle of a very happy, jubilant crowd of uh, Jose Menendez supporters. And uh, because they are obviously very confident of his win, and you are obviously confident as well. Tell me, what, what do the numbers tell you? Well, the numbers are growing. I mean, Election Day almost is a two to one margin in the terms. And so the early vote came in at 10 points. You know, the margin was 10 points, 55 45. And now we're at 57.42. So things are looking, they're just continuing to trend in the right direction. So we feel very good. You and I spoke earlier about, uh, again, your opponent, Trey Martinez Fisher, and how it had come to this race yet again. And I know that you had been allies at one point and certainly on opposite sides politically. So tell me, what was that for, like for you, and, and what do you think of your opponent now? Well, I, I haven't changed my thoughts. I think that Trey Martinez Fisher was an excellent state representative. I, I've, actually, it's a shame that we're not going to have him there. He did a lot of good work in the Texas House, and I would have liked to have worked with him in there in that place. I, it's a shame for us. I think it's a loss for San Antonio. It's a loss for the Bear County delegation. Um, so I really don't hold any ill will towards him as a man, as a family man, as a father and a husband. Uh, I don't hold any ill will. It's a shame that he, he chose to run this race. Uh, he could have stayed the dean of the delegation, uh, but anyway. That's what happened. Very good, sir. And I know you've said that you're going to, you've never stopped working and you're going to certainly keep at it as soon as the uh, results are official. For now, we're live here on the Northwest Side with the Jose Menendez Thank you, Jesse. Now, despite trailing by double digits, Trey Martinez Fisher remaining upbeat tonight, greeting supporters. A year ago, he gave up a powerful seat in the Texas House where he excelled in parliamentary maneuvers against a Republican majority to run for Letitia Vandeput's Senate seat. He lost to his House colleague then, Jose Menendez. So tonight was their second matchup. Here's what Trey said earlier. I'm very thankful to have all the supporters that I have, and and there's nothing like there's nothing like politics. There's nothing like public service. You know, you get the best people out there, and let the voters decide who they want to represent them. That's all. That's all you can ask for. Now, Martinez Fisher didn't speak specifically on a possible loss. He just thanked his supporters tonight.